What's going on, YouTube? Man, just got out the gym. Figured I'd tell y'all real quick what happened yesterday. Me and my lady were right, right there watching uh, Fast and the Furious, right? Man, the way these fucking movies motivate people to go out and do dumb shit. So, we're right there watching the movie, and then, you know, it's like about to get over. It's the original one, Fast and the Furious 1. You know, I got the Mustang, and my lady's like, you know, I kind of feel like going on an adventure. So I was like, yeah, shit, let's go. She's like, yeah, you know, I, I like going fast. I want to go fast. And, you know, even though my car is not like crazy souped up, it still smashes, you know what I'm saying? We hop in the car, it's like a good like 11, 11.30 at night or so, something like that. There's this long bend that goes from this side of town to Ron. It kind of curves all the way around like this and it goes onto the, hot, the highway, right? So I just figured I'd show you guys real quick exactly what I'm talking about for this bend. All right, so like right here, I'm already smashed. I'm going, I'm going. See right here, I'm still in second right now. I'm at 50 miles an hour. Right here is where I, where I fucking started spinning out. I was spinning out, almost flew off the edge right here. Look, right there, there's my tire mark. Flew through the fucking grass and into the fucking highway. There would have been traffic like how there's traffic right now. Yeah, it probably would have crashed into some fuck. I told her, I've already topped this car out. For some reason, I don't know if this is all Mustangs that are in my uh, my class, like I mean my year. I got a 2014 Mustang, all right? I've already topped it out on the highway, which is a fucking sad excuse for a fucking sports car like this one. It tops out at 115. So I don't know if there's a way to change that or not, or if I just have to go like take off the governor or whatever, which would fucking void my warranty. So I'm not gonna do that. I plan on getting rid of this car anyways soon. But anyways, so long story short, I told her this car doesn't smash that fast, but I'll show you real quick. Going around the corner, and this is why I'm a new at rear wheel drive vehicles like this one to have a lot of power. I was going around the corner and they fucking redlined it all the way at second gear and then when I went to throw it into third gear, I was still bending around the corner and I slammed it into fucking third gear and when I hit the gas, it still had enough power to spin the wheels. So I fucking spun the wheels going like, I don't know, I was already going like 60 or so. My rear end just kind of slid out. So then I fucking corrected it. You know, it's in the middle of the summertime right now, so I corrected it, and it corrected a hella fast, so it spun the other way. So I corrected it again, and I was just kinda like, you know what I'm saying, zigzagging like this back and forth. If there would've been traffic right there, I would've probably slammed right into the fucking cars that were on the uh, on the highway. But luckily I was observant, uh, observant enough check this to make sure there was no cars uh, gonna be in my way before I performed that fucking stupid stunt. Yes, I do admit it was a stupid stunt. It's hot as fuck. Cause you know, I could have could have killed me and her. I could have killed someone else or seriously injured everybody. I could have just ruined the cars. All kinds of fucking things that could happen. But I guess the biggest mistake was with a rear wheel drive car smashing like that and it's still gonna have power. I probably don't ever shift like a fucking racer when you're bending around a corner because you might just fucking wreck your shit. So yeah, that was pretty fucking crazy. I had to hop out the car afterwards, look at it, make sure that I didn't fuck anything up. But everything was fine. No one got hurt. It was just kind of like, you know, whoa, almost fucking crashed there. My lady's like, okay, let's not go fast for a second. See, that's why fucking sports cars, race cars, whatever, you know, they're they're dangerous, man. If you, if you don't fucking, uh, pay attention to what you're doing and you just want to have like a fucking lead foot then yeah you know you can really fucking hurt yourself. If it would have been winter time up here or just like slick out I would have fucking crashed for sure because this car is rear wheel fucking drive. Oh yeah that's another thing um I took the, the uh, traction control off before I even started stepping on it because you know when I'm from a stop you know if, you, if your car has traction control then you already know when you step on it the traction control will kick in and you, know, you can actually smash from the get-go if you have the traction control on. Take it off, you can peel out, you know, you can do fucking donuts. You can actually go, you know, when I first test drove the car, that's that's the same thing the fucking uh, salesman was telling me, so yeah, make sure you turn this shit off if you're trying to smash, man. Had that shit off, if I would've had it on, when I went to shift and stepped on it again, it probably wouldn't have peeled out like that. It would have caught, you know, I wouldn't have uh, spun out so crazy, so. 
if you have trash control and you're planning on doing something dumb like that, probably keep it on. But anyways, y'all take it easy. Don't be a douchebag like how I was yesterday. Damn near fucking killing you and your lady or someone else. Make sure that you drive safe. Don't let movies like Fast and the Furious fucking motivate you to go out and drive fucking idiot. I'll catch y'all here soon for another video. Be looking out for it. Remember, every Tuesday, I'll be dropping at least one video and maybe a couple videos in between. All right, y'all take it easy. Deuces. What are you smiling about? Dude, I almost had you. <laughs>